Item number, SCP-382. Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. SCP-3821 is to be stored in a standard site containment room inside a 1.5 by 1.5 by 1.5 meter plexiglass box of 5 centimeter thickness at minimum. A video camera is to be kept trained on it at all times, though this is merely for observational purposes. Due to the area of influence and deleterious nature of SCP-382's effect, it should only be removed from its enclosure for testing purposes, with staff observing from a remote location. No personnel, Class D or otherwise, should interact with SCP-3821 for more than two hours, unless accompanied by at least one armed agent. Description In its inactive state, SCP-3821 is a large baby carriage, manufactured in 19 by in England. Its age shows. Metal components are heavily rusted, the rubber of the tires is brittle, and the cushion is missing. SCP-3822 appears to be an infant, months old, extremely emaciated, with several injuries that seem to vary with each manifestation. On different occasions, SCP-3822 has shown heavy bruising, broken bones, and sometimes data expunged, despite which 3822 could still make vocalizations, although it is unknown how this was possible. When SCP-3821 is not being interacted with, SCP-3822 manifests every to minutes, staying between and minutes. However, when a person places their hands on the handlebars of the carriage, 3822 will instantly manifest, and the period of time of both disappearance and reappearance will decrease to approximately one second. Any person who makes visual contact with SCP-3821 from now on referred to as the subject, is compelled to approach it and place their hands on its handlebar. While manifesting only intermittently, SCP-3822 appears to compound the effect when the subject sees it. This effect does not transmit through video feeds, transparent objects, or anything else that would separate SCP-3821 and its victim. And once the subject is in contact with SCP-3821, no one else will be influenced until the subject has died, and SCP-382 has reset. As soon as the subject comes into physical contact with SCP-3821 and SCP-3822 has manifested, they appear to enter a trance, in which they will propel SCP-3821 in a small circle and make noises directed at SCP-3822, apparently intended to be soothing. As time passes, the subject will begin to weaken, and their body will begin to degrade, while SCP-3821 slowly begins to take on a new, shinier appearance. Rust will begin to flake off, revealing shiny metal underneath. The rubber wheels will become more supple, and a velvet cushion will appear inside. At the same time, each successive manifestation of SCP-3822 will appear with fewer and fewer injuries, while looking less and less emaciated. The subject will continue to interact with SCP-382 up until just under two hours, at which point they will perish due to massive widespread organ failure. Once the subject has perished, SCP-3822 will disappear, and SCP-3821 will return to its former, derelict appearance within 30 minutes. Addendum 382A On Date Expunged my research team and I began testing to determine whether a person of sufficient youth and physical fitness could sustain interaction with SCP-382 past the two-hour mark. D-382-GTF-87I was chosen for his age, and because he had been a physical trainer prior to data expunged, and kept in shape throughout his incarceration at his exposure to SCP-382 proceeded as normal, though the physical degradation appeared to progress at a slower rate than previous test subjects. After the two-hour mark, with D-382-GTF-87I still living, though in extremely poor condition, SCP-3822 manifested as usual, but did not disappear one second later. SCP-3822 then data expunged, 
consuming the then mummified corpse of D382GTF87I, and proceeded to data expunged. Fortunately, only one other Class D was killed before SCP-3822 was terminated by Agent But the event has necessitated the amending of the SCP-3822 Special Containment Procedure somewhat. I don't feel that this warrants a change in classification level. Doctor Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-381, The Pyrotechnic Polyphony, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.